first in. There he goes. Hello. Buongiorno. 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 Just a quick look. How are, How are you? you? Welcome to La Pergola. Amazing. And on down we have uh, potato, only potato, pure potato. Hello, it's Stan Shikofka and I'm with two wonderful people, two wonderful Italians. I'm the very, very first journalist to be invited to the new, shortly to open, La Pagola by Per Bellanini. The a celebrity chef from Italy that's now transformed, and I mean absolutely transformed, one of uh, Bahrain's top Italian restaurants. It's just breathtakingly wonderful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful ambiance. Um, you come in, there's the sea blue, there's little bubbles rising up, like bubbles from the sea. It's just fantastic, amazing, amazing. The thing that's going to make this, well there's two exceptional things that's going to make this restaurant the must place to eat. One is the Italian service and that's all thanks to my man here on my left, the, uh, the wonderful, the amazing restaurant manager, Simone. That's Simon with an E. <laughs> now, um, the ambience is great. You cannot beat the ambience of this restaurant. Uh, but tell us, service again, spectacular. What makes Italian service so wonderful? So, is uh, Italian service wonderful? Is hospitality, hospitality for the Italian with a capital family. H. Is uh, this, the hospitality in Italian is very important because uh, we work with the uh, hands, correct? Hands. Absolutely, work with the heart and uh, and the hands. We want. Uh, the guests when they come to Italy, when they come here, they see this Italian atmosphere. We have created Italian atmosphere. We are in the blue situation, and we Beautiful want blue. to try all. So, I think, I think your diners, our readers, are going to be absolutely knocked out. Fantastic service, but of course, you know, you've got ambience, you've got service, and then you've got. The food. Now, I, I, I first interviewed um, the uh, celebrity chef called Chef Furby to his friends, you know, and uh, <laughs> and he mentioned that he has got one of his wonderful among the team of chefs here, hand chosen. Um, now, Chef Mazzaro, yeah. Chef Mez, as he's also known, you know, to uh, to his friends. His art style, Mez. He's, he's, uh, very, <laughs> he's young, very young. Very young, trendy, <laughs> but the cuisine, absolutely knockout. Now, I, I mean, I've tried a bit of everything, as, as I would, because, you know, that's my job. I have to, I have to eat to earn my living. And uh, I did try a lovely, lovely, I think it's called a Vitello uh, Tonato. Yeah. Um, but basically, it was, it was a sort of roast veal, there were some foamed eggs, which I absolutely loved, and um, a special cream. Tell us about that cream. Yeah, this is uh, like a cloud of a cream. It's very soft, and the it's flavor. Tuna. Yeah, it's tuna, oil, and eggs inside. Oh, it's uh, very soft. It's uh, delicate. The tasting is uh, for me is wow. It's beautiful. Wow, absolutely wow. And that's just the starters, wow. you know. Like <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. We loved it. Um, now uh, another Italian uh, favorite dish. Don't go away. I can just see you there. Another favorite because his, you know, his family are going to be watching this. His young children. They want to see dad <laughs> performing on the Golf Weekly uh, YouTube channel. All I can say is that um, the risotto. I mean, I've had some good risottos. I've had some bad risottos. 
but this was the best risotto I've ever had. And, and it was like Milan style, correct? Milan style, yeah. So what makes Moros? Uh, uh, this is a special, uh, typical uh, Italian uh, quite thick, risotto. Quite, yeah. quite, quite uh, creamy? Creamy. Because uh, we cook, uh, we don't boil uh, the rice, so we have uh, added the uh, veg stock inside the rice, step by step, and then uh, it's ready. We have put uh, butter and parmesan. It's like a cream after. We mix very well, and, uh, and uh, in a few minutes it's ready. It is absolutely beautiful. <laughs> but, you know, the food continued. The food, the, one of the main courses I had, or tried, was the, uh, the steak. You cannot beat a pan-fried Angus beef fillet. Now, again, and I've had a few dodgy ones, this was melt-in-your-mouth magnificence. <laughs> so, it's, again, you know, it's all about the technique, is it? It's all about the, the timing, and how do you make that so good, that dish? And there was like a sort of bread sauce as well that worked really yeah, well. Yeah, there is panko, there is bread, there is eggs, uh, and uh, beautiful beef, because if you don't have the first material, uh, the quality of uh, first material is not possible to, to make a beautiful place. Then it is, uh, it is the very important uh, reason for uh, for this flavor. Just combination spectacular. I thought oh, that was it. I was just going to wave the white flag. Thank you, thank you ma so much, you, you wonderful duo, for looking after me. And then they said, oh, "What happens is uh, just before you go." And I thought, "Oh, really? Wow." I mean, again, <laughs> it's another wow moment. Um, I had a, a sort of um, a fruit tart it was like with, with with custard floating inside a little yeah this is the secret of Giancarlo Berbellini really <laughs> uh, yeah he's got a lot of secrets yeah because Giancarlo Berbellini was born like a pastry chef and then uh, says it all you cannot you must leave space for the desserts yeah. just an absolutely amazing amazing experience all I can say is that um, the great man himself is is gonna be flying in very shortly I think on Wednesday the day we come out um, he'll be here touching down in Bahrain. We've got a, a few days later the grand opening. You will miss out in life if you do not book a table at La Pagola by Per Bellini. Per Bellini. Wonderful. See you here soon. Take care. Bye bye. Thank Say you. Thank you. Ciao. Bye bye.